So how do they truly feel about you right now? Wow, we have the Ace of Swords coming out immediately. True feelings. Eight of Swords. Love Potion. And Eight of Swords again. It's too difficult for me to come forward. And the Sun. I'm so happy. So they feel a lot of emotions for you, okay? With this Love Potion. Their head over heels for you. Falling in love. Infatuation. Obsessed. Hooked. Irresistible captivated but there's some sort of mental prison this could be someone who's bottled up i always see that with this card like there's so much emotions love a lot of thoughts about you as well starting off with these two swords cards now we have three swords cards over all thoughts mind but there's fears in their mind as well they want to come forwards because this is about communication, Ace of Swords, and being clear, being authentic, but there's fears. I feel like this is mirrored for some of you, if it resonates, because it's come out twice, both in a mental prison. Both have a lot of love, but could be going through life in general, feeling quite repressed, or this has been a pattern in your life or this person's life but then their number eight that's that is the infinite flow between you and this person there is like telepathic mind communication i feel but um they feel so happy you are the light in their life they're absolutely joyous with you with this love they're glowing The world, you mean the absolute world to them. But this is all about seeing above this false matrix. The mental prison, it is like that conditioning from this false matrix that we're all born into. Um, but this is coming out of that. This is clarity, seeing that higher perspective. Five of Cups. This is like the old life falling away, but it's leaving room for your connection, your divine union. Because there's a strong emphasis on the Three of Cups and the Two of Cups in this Five of Cups card. Um, because Three Cups represent the past and they're normally falling over. And it's to do with seeing clearly, seeing from a higher perspective, aligning with a higher perspective. But there's, there's fears. I feel like there's fears to do with true intimacy. Like you and your person, you have a very intimate bond, like energetically, telepathically in the heart space. But at the same time, I feel like you're both very independent or... You've had walls up. You're very, I feel like both of you are very much in your mind. Like people could see you as like these daydreamers. Um, that is that vehicle. Your thoughts are a vehicle that are taking you and your person into the high dimensions. You've both always felt like you're sort of not fully anchored into this world. That... You're always in a higher dimension while simultaneously being on this earth plane. But I feel like predominantly you both feel like you're, I see your energies like above the world, like in a higher dimension. And again, always in your thoughts, you feel most comfortable in that place because it's connecting you with your true selves, the infinite souls. 
Hmm, let's dive deeper. Mirror, I'm telling you, your mirrors of each other. Self-reflection. This is what you do, both of you, so much, okay? And this is where your connection is predominantly residing, in that self-reflection. A lot of people in this false matrix would be conditioned to believe, oh, that's just stuff in, in your mind, you're just fantasizing, you're just thinking about each other, and that's as far as it goes. But no, this is like imagination is the vehicle to the higher dimensions which is a state of consciousness you can feel within your within yourself right now this is where you and your person are one reflecting each other there's a lot of affinity a lot of deep understanding about this being honest with self wisdom and clarity this is like seeing clearly like i said it's interesting, Ace of Swords is about seeing clearly, but then we have two Eight of Swords, the mental prison. So this is breaking out of illusions, breaking out of the false matrix, but nonetheless still feeling, you both, it's, you both being anchored into the higher dimensions, going inwards like that so deeply. So much transformation is occurring, especially with the world. The world is like the end of an era, but a, not just a brand new chapter, a whole new book <laughs> of you and your person living higher dimensionally, being much more consciously aware of that. There's some sadness here with this Five of Cups as well. I feel like it's to do with you being so in love with each other. It's to do with you had a lot of ideas about how love was supposed to play out, you know, based on societal conditioning, false matrix conditioning. But this is a true love. And I feel like it's unorthodox because it's not fitting into a traditional relationship sort of roles or, you know. This is like something deeper, I feel. This is something that is predominantly about your souls so when it shows the three cups spilled over i feel like there's some sort of sadness to do with you know it's kind of like cognitive dissonance like a part of you or a part of your person is really sad that uh, life and relationships in terms of your connection isn't playing out in the way that you were told like your whole life that love should look it should look a certain way in the 3d but this connection doesn't look like that, but it, it's allowing for something so much deeper. And so this, this is where the cognitive dissonance is because the other part of you knows that this, the, the absence of the tradition is actually what's allowing for infinite exploration, infinite like depth of this union. Um, Shadow work. And totally broken. Ten of swords. I feel like there's a wound within both of you to do with feeling like there's something wrong with you. Like your person, they could feel like there's something wrong with you. You could have been plagued with... Beliefs being triggered, feeling, oh, there's something wrong with me because and it's something to do with this going inward so much and feeling somewhat separated um, from a lot of people, like feeling alienated, needing a lot of that alone time, ne basically needing to dive into the infinite because I feel like you're, you and your person, you're predominantly anchored into those higher dimensions. So you've always needed a lot of alone time, I feel. This is also like that mental prison, like thick walls around you at times. But it's so incredible because it's like within yourselves, this is where you and your person are really as one. That is you both connecting with your infinite souls. Connecting in the true dimensions. Six 
Six of Wands, the Hero cards, success in love, moving into love, rising into love. I feel like there's been a lot of internal struggles to do with you both feeling like there's something wrong with you. This could be very painful. Something that could be coming up right now, but then this is also like rising out of that, rising into true love, I feel. Well, this is definitely true love. It's a higher dimensional love. There's so much success. This is why we have the sun card, happiness, peace. It can feel quite paradoxical and strange in this false matrix, in this world. Because you and your person, you're really discovering like the, the deepest depths are experienced through going inwards, through connecting beyond this false matrix. How else are they feeling about you right now? Four of Swords. This is immense heart healing, okay? Which is really, really positive, seeing as we just had this. Ten of Swords. I'm totally broken. Four of Swords. Again, it's that deep introspection. It's connecting with those high dimensions and being completely bathed by the infinite, by so much love. Serendipity. I feel like there's a physical distance between you, but there's a lot of this thoughts. Look, thought, even though it's serendipity, the imagery is like the thoughts, telepathic communication of love. You, both of you, are always so connected with the high dimensions. This is why, like, this true love is playing out on those higher dimensions so you feel each other's presence energetically all the time you are together like in that deeper place of the infinite it's like your love is so great it's so immense and infinite it, it's more of a struggle to be able to squeeze that into any sort of like 3d traditional setup um, let's go back to the tarot cards. Sorry, I was holding the deck upside down. Three of Wands. Again, this is like seeing things from a higher ground, seeing the bigger picture. It's about thinking again. It's about plans are well underway. It's like no matter what's going on in the 3D, there's this constant progression of your connection, okay? This is why it can feel paradoxical because it could appear like in the 3D things are totally different to what's happening on the true levels, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. There's so much progress, this is. So much is happening between you and your person. So much deepening. So much success, I want to say. Victory, rising up, ascension. And it can seem very strange at times because in the 3D, it, it like I said, it could appear like, well, people, if they didn't know, that they wouldn't know anything was going on. This is what I mean about you and your person are so deep. There's a lot about going inwards, being in the mental realm, but also very much in the heart, in the soul. Internal. This is a deeply internal experience. But this is what, this is the main factor with it being so internal, which is making your bond so deep. 
so intimate which is what is really feeding both of your souls but obviously there's some sadness I feel because there is a longing to embrace like on all levels and you're very much missing each other this person's missing you a lot but this is something that is so beyond what we're told life is about or love is about this is really helping you both ascend so much This is allowing your deepest depths to really be experienced because it's like this world is too shallow. Three of Swords. Sorry, Three of Cups. I said there was an emphasis on the Three of Cups and the Two of Cups. Three of Cups are normally spilt over. But this is like... A true divine union. This is like the third energy, the Holy Trinity, three of cups, you, your person, and the divine connection. It's got the immense divine spark about this. And this is again why there is so much happiness. Because there is like this true union. But again, I, I just keep getting a sense of the mental prison right now. Could be f like it could feel kind of strange at times, like surreal in terms of that. There's two aspects. That is what it is to be human. There's t always two aspects of yourselves because this is a plane of duality. So there's the human self, the conditioned self, the false self in this temporary human experience and then there's the infinite true self how are they feeling insecure anxious low self-esteem poor self-image nervous not feeling good enough mind games i don't feel it's you playing mind games with each other or anything like that this is that mental prison of feeling insecure like there's pain here to do with I'm totally broken, I'm strange, I don't fit into this world. Maybe trying to squeeze yourselves in into like this false matrix and the roles that we're supposed to play, but then simultaneously breaking free from that and having all of this liberation with each other internally. Maybe a struggle externally. You and your person, you're figuring things out as, as you go along this path. Because this is rare in terms of, you know, we're not really taught how to go through this awakening and feeling pulled in two directions. This is my truth. I'm telling you, they're coming forwards with the truth. We started off with the Ace of Swords, all about the truth, and then... This card here, this is my truth. You're both understanding your, who you truly are, the infinite souls. What else do they want to say to you? Please don't leave me out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. Hmm, there's some sort of fears within your person about being left out in the cold i feel like deep down they've always felt alone in this world because they felt like they haven't fit in they fear you leaving them out in the cold they fear perhaps letting go of certain old things that they used to be aligned with before they'd awakened as much as they have now because again they fear feeling lonely like they've always kind of felt but with you, it's like they don't feel lonely anymore, but they fear loss still. Let's get one more message from your person. What do they really need you to know right now? I'm so weighed down. Ten of Wands. There's a lot of change and transformation going on with these two tens here. That's endings and beginnings, especially with the world. But feeling weighed down with the mental prison, with some sort of insecurities. This is like feeling a lot of obligation to show up in certain ways, 
I feel it's to do with certain people, different people. You could both feel, you know, that it's hard to know what to do when you feel like this duality within you both. Um, but they're definitely coming forwards. Like I said, there's always this progression within your connection. It's it's um, moving into deeper success. There's victory and love and communication coming in because there's been a lot of feelings that have been bottled up, but there's some sort of deeper reunion going on here. There's a clearing out of some sort of blocks and then taking up your connection, focusing on this is my truth, the authenticity. So if this reading has resonated with you, please let me know in the comments, give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. That all really helps me out with the algorithm. Thank you so much for joining me here. Take care.